Hello and welcome to the Decent Wrestling Show and another Actress Girls Review. This time it is the 31st of August 2024 show at Shinkaba First Ring. Let's see the fallout of All Lights on Me and the Rainbow Road to Kurokan Hall in October. So without further ado, let's delve into the show. We open with some looks at upcoming debutee Anri Yamada looking cool and cute. She said she has a lot of muscle pain but will do her best in her October debut. We also saw a super cute Nagisa Shiotsuki and Mari, along with Yui Tensho, which is her new name. And finally, we saw Sakura Mizushima selling tickets. Always a cute intro. Then we had our new opening dance for the first time at Shinkaba. The first match saw Natsuki taking on Arisa Nagai in her first singles match. Arisa's entrance of her dancing is so beautiful and cute. She has an amazing smile and energy. They shook hands and began the match. They traded arm locks before Natsuki took over as expected. She slammed and threw Arisa around a bit. Then came the brutal soccer ball kicks. Ouchie. Arisa did manage to get a roll up for a two and then locked in a nice body scissors on Natsuki. However, Natsuki used her experience to reverse to her own submission hold, forcing Arisa to get the ropes to survive. Not to be beaten easily, a fired up Arisa hit some nice forearms, but was slammed down by Natsuki for her efforts. Natsuki hit some brutal leg kicks, but Arisa didn't back down and kept coming back with forearms despite the clear pain in her legs from those heavy kicks. She then managed to get off some drop kicks and a slam of her own for a two. She even locked in a cool leg lock, which panicked Natsuki, who barely got the ropes to escape. Nice moment there for Arisa. Sadly for Arisa, she walked into a high ballet style knee from Natsuki and took some more leg punishments before a brutal head kick. This led to the finish where Natsuki's foot stomp from the top rope got Natsuki the victory in around eight minutes. Overall, this was a solid first match for Arisa. We have to remember, this is her second match and first ever singles match. So she is beyond where she should be already, which is great to see. She showed a ton of heart and fire, which will bring her a long way. Natsuki used her experience to win and teach Arisa some lessons. Solid stuff. Post-match Natsuki thanked Arisa for her fresh performance. She mentioned her loss to act. She will begin from the bottom and work her way back up to the title. She promised to get revenge on act. Second up, was a unique match. Rico Lee returned again to take on the trainee of drunken master Asako in Jackie Agawa. Jackie is a hitman who Rico Lee is tasked with taking out. Jackie was already drunk on her entrance. <laughs> Lee showed of her nunchuck skills in her entrance, showing she was ready for a fight of a lifetime. We began with them circling each other, both careful to make the first important move. Jackie showed off her drunken karate skills and poses. I love that the last pose was her taking a shot of alcohol. <laughs> they traded going forward with both dodging everything for now. Jackie stammered out of some Lee kicks. Her drunken nature made it funny seeing her dodge all the strikes. We saw drunken master Asako steal the alcohol. Jackie got some strikes on Lee and celebrated before more dodging and managing to knock over Lee. Then, it happened. The music began. Lee had been reborn. She perked up and began with a big kick and destroyed Jackie with gut punches. A big kick in the corner missed. But Jackie began to throw up. So Lee grabbed her and snapped her neck. Jackie did somehow stay alive, only to flop into the corner and the ref called it off. Rico Lee is now 2-0. A hilarious match, as expected. I can't wait to see the next chapter in this unique series. Jackie was great here, and I hope we see Drunken Master Asako again. Who will face Rico Lee next? Intermission time as Nagisa and Natsuki promoted the Actress Girls shirt and their tag team support towel. We then saw Rico Lee and heard from Yumi Ogawa, who was a little bit drunk, 
and has no memory of the second match. Match 3 was a handicap match as a Sarko superhuman army of herself and Chi Alba fought to take down Mari. No handshake to begin as Mari refused. Oddly, Chi Alba was wearing Sakura's old gear. It actually suits her, but it threw me off for a bit. Mari overpowered Chi to begin with and chopped her and kicked her to high heaven. Chi got kicked and beaten up and choked in the ropes by a ruthless Mari. As expected, Chi got kicked in the butt a few times. She didn't cave in though and hit some forearms and again took butt kicks from Mari and then a head kick and Boston Crab. Asako rooted on Chi and tried to motivate her from outside the ring. It worked as she got the ropes. Asako kept walking around the ring not looking to get in until Chi got a drop kick off and Asako shot onto the ropes begging for a tag. Chi hit a scoop slam for a two. Mari then kicked and hit a forearm on Chi for a two. Mari walked over to Asako who suddenly had a stomach ache and jumped off the apron. Mari began attacking Chi's leg brutally. Chi flailed in a submission as Asako pretended to be trying to get in the ring but stopping and jumping off the apron to tie her laces. She's the best. I love Asako. Chi did get the ropes eventually but took more kicks on the ground from Mari. Asako shouted, Chi! Then Mari kicked Chi. Asako faked a stomach ache again. Chi dodged a corner move with a lovely roll up and drop kick. Finally, Asako nearly tagged in, but needed to tie her laces again. <laughs> Big kicks from Mari to Chi, but still no three count. Chi didn't give up. Chi got off some nice moves finally and hit her dish screw for a near fall. Then the cattle mutilation was locked in. Mari was in trouble finally. She just got her feet to the ropes after a close call. Then, finally, Asako tagged in. She hit some forearms and tried an octopus stretch. She was promptly locked in the omopolata and tapped out quickly. <laughs> what an amazing ending. Fantastically fun match with Asako's antics heightening the match. Mari was a brilliant relentless heel, while Chi had a great showing with some lovely fluid movements. Fun stuff in this one. Post-match, Asako was sad and crying about her failure. Then instantly perked up to speak about superhuman Asako army who are her arms and feet. She wants new members Chi Alba, Erisa Nagai, Alice Aono, Toiro Hina and Nanami Togi to join her. Erisa and Chi are the only two there, but Erisa seems to accept. Asako then challenged Mari to a three-on-one match. Mari called her the biggest fool in the world. Harsh. Asako's cockiness went away as soon as Mari stood to her, so she faked a stomach ache. Asako wants to be a leader, but Chi and Arisa won't do the hand signals pose. Amazing segment. The main event was a big 10 woman tag match. The Genki Sentai Actress 5 came together once again to take on the evil of the actress killers, represented by Yufa, Ayano Iri. Kiyoka Iwai, Nene Arahata, and Maru. No handshake to begin as the killers performed a sneak attack. Actress 5 got stacked and posed on by the killers. Maru and Saihara had an awesome opening with them trading submission holds. A rake to the eyes helped Maru take over. Boo! The fans rained down boos as she continued to heelishly beat up Saihara. Saihara did fight back with a drop kick and Riko and Kyoka came in the ring. Good work from Riko with some amazing moves. Kyoka had to have help from Nene to take over. She hit her TKO for a close fall. More awesome back and forth from them as they showed great chemistry. Riko hit her dragon suplex, but the pin was broken by Maru's chain. Sakura came in next and began beating up Kyoka. Kyoka managed to wrestle back control and then got the umbrella and began beating down Sakura with it. Sakura finally dodged, but a Northern Light suplex could only register a two count. Naru came in next and went full speed ahead into Yufa's hammer. Yufa pulled out the heel tactics to beat up and humiliate Naru. Wanda Landon connected for a two as Yui broke the pin up, frustrating Yufa. The knee drop missed 
and Naru hit a drop kick followed by a corner spear and drop kick. She tried to run the ropes, but Mari pulled her to the outside and slammed her on the ramp. Then the killers came in like a pack of wolves on her. The Actress 5 came to the rescue and regrouped on the ramp. They posed and ran at the heels, but got beat up a lot for it. Chaos ensued all over the arena. They were being beaten from pillar to post, literally. Marina was choked and hung by Maru's chain. Yui and Sakura were thrown into each other. Riko was being dragged around and Naru was at the mercy of Mari and Yufa. Maru threw her chain at Marino's face. Back in the ring, Yufa was bullying Naru and taunting her. Kyoka and Nene slapped her back and continued the beatdown with Nene slapping and kicking Naru while she was down. Romero Special was locked in with Maru ruffling Naru's hair to humiliate her. Then Ayano kicked Naru in the special followed by a Yufa mallet direct headshot. Naru escaped a suplex and speared Nene for a close count. Finally, a beaten down Naru tagged in Yui Tensho. Her and Nene had an amazing back and forth power battle. Yui's forearms have gotten so strong. She then hit a lovely gut wrench suplex on Nini. It only got a two count. Nene reversed the gory special to the torture rack with a little help from Kyoka's umbrella. A choke bomb nearly ended it, but Yui managed to kick out. She blocked a Maru spear, but her slam led to a roll up and then the spear connected for a two count. Yui did manage to slam Maru, but it wasn't enough to win. So she tagged in Saihara who rained down forearms and Maru did the same back to her. Maru got Saihara in the stretch muffler, but luckily Sakura made the save just in time. Marino fought back with some speedy kicks and a dragon sleeper, but Ayano broke it up this time around. Yufa tried a mallet attack, but accidentally hit Maru for a two from Saihara. The killers beat down Saihara and Maru landed her diving foot stomp for another near fall. Saihara refused to cave in and kept on fighting, which annoyed Maru, who beat her down some more. Ayano and Sakura came in next. Finally, the heroes made a big comeback with combination moves. Yui used herself as a launching pad for Riko and Sakura. Awesome. Kill switch connected on Ayano, but only for a two count. So Sakura tried the Muta lock, but Maru broke it quickly. Then poor Sakura got chalk thrown in her face by Maru. Ayano then poured water all over her in the ropes and Yufa cleaned her up and washed her face mockingly. Ayano locked in the Boston Crab on a tired and damp Sakura. She fought tooth and nails and just got the ropes after a long fight. Chaos rung out with everyone hitting big moves. Saihara hit a hero kick on Maru but Ayano booted her out the ring. Nene hit a lovely stalling suplex on Sakura. A thing of beauty. Ayano followed by hitting her sight out front suplex, but Sakura rolled her up with her last piece of adrenaline. She only got a two count. She went to the top rope, but Nene caught her. Ayano booted her in the face and a second followed. A cocky pin, but Sakura kicked out Stell. So Ayano lifted her for the teardrop move which won the actress killers the match after nearly 32 minutes. Wow, what a masterpiece of a match again. Everyone killed it and gave their all. Definitely go out of your way to watch this match. The amazing heel work and the fight from the heroes was brilliant, great simple storytelling and some great action. Overall, another really good show with a terrific main event. Very entertaining with some good story progression. Match of the night goes to Genki Sentai Actress 5 vs Actress Killers once again, a superb encounter. MVP Awards Please note that two people from the same match cannot get an award just to keep it varied. Bronze medal goes to Chi Aoba for her lovely fluid moves and the heart and fire she showed during her match. Her breakout these recent months is lovely to see. Silver medal goes to Rico Lee for another truly entertaining performance 
which made me laugh a lot. And the gold medal and MVP goes to Maru. She was brilliant in her heel work and had some awesome moments with Marino Sahara. Don't miss out on the electrifying action of Actress Girls. Check the links in the description to watch past events, reserve tickets for upcoming shows, and explore their website for more information. Let's keep supporting Act Res Girls. Your support helps these incredible athletes continue to entertain and inspire.